Yeah, hello everyone, it's your girl New, and for today's video, I decided I wanted to do something different. Um, with the problems of inflation happening in this in this game constantly and the economy constantly just making it so much harder for um, newer uh, Wildmas Islands players, uh, newbies. Why newbies? Um, I decided to do something, something, something nice to to basically uh help out these uh, new players a bit just a tiny bit i i'm not rich enough to be able to give out like so many so many things out of nowhere so, but i figured maybe i can do something like this you know so yeah um you're probably gonna be wondering what i'm gonna be doing i have decided to make uh what do you call those um christmas packages i guess so what i want to do is I have a lot of these fonts. I have a lot of fonts. <clears throat> and I know how much people love fonts, like absolutely love fonts. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making packages with all of these fonts that I caught from last year. The ones that are um they're, they're most likely coming back this year anyways. They're like yearly horses, kinda like the ghost horses. So I'm gonna get all of these. <clears throat> I'm gonna train them all up to max and then I'm gonna make some nice packages and give them out to newbies and when I say newbies I'm talking about people who are less than level <coughs> 500 um, I'm also gonna be giving them with like a, a, a nice tack set so green green and red maybe because it's christmas themed is that the only clyde i have just to be sure it's okay we can catch more we can catch more soon i wanted to see if i can help newbies uh if you're a new player in wild horse islands welcome if uh when i say new i mean you've started maybe within this year within last year and you're still like trying to get up there you're still trying to figure out values you're still trying to figure out how the game works how to grind how to do all these fun things um allow me to help with as much as i can i'm not like exactly the number one expert of this game but i'd like to be helpful where i can so <clears throat> if you're a new player and you have discord or facebook then i'd like you to visit these places so on my left is um the Wild Horse Islands, the unofficial Happy Acres Discord server. So this is kind of like a huge um, community, Discord community for Wild Horse Islands players. It has trading, it has game helps and frequently asked questions. It has really wonderful and helpful people to help you answer your questions, uh, to help you figure out values, to help you find items or maybe even sell items. It's a good place to trade. Um, but it is a bit expensive because a lot of the players who are on this server, they're mostly veterans. And the veterans have really inflated the economy, so it's not really newbie friendly. But it is helpful for learning values and for getting more accustomed to the game's economy and community. And then on my right is, I would say it's a bit more newbie friendly, is the Wild Horse Islands um, Facebook group. Both of these are not official servers or community groups. They're both unofficial, but they have a good number of people who are active on these communities. So the Facebook one, I would say, is a bit more newbie friendly because there's a lot of other people there who are most likely newbies and newer players who <clears throat> are trading around, are making posts, and it helps with like finding out scammers and stuff like that because this Facebook community is very open to sharing scammers not really sure why <laughs> but it's a good thing for me because um it helps other newbies out there to be careful and to take care of themselves also the people there are very friendly <coughs> and the pricings or tradings there are not 100 percent like the discord server the discord server is like major expensive sometimes most of the times but the facebook one can be a bit more newbie friendly so you'll be able to find cheaper things you'll be able to actually trade better <laughs> without much difficulty so <laughs> i recommend discord for uh if you want to really get like dive into the veteran community's trading market or to be you know accustomed or used to this but um i recommend the facebook if you want something more 
merciful or <laughs> or newbie friendly. <clears throat> All right, both links are gonna be in the description um, for both Facebook and Discord. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to check out the Wild Horse Islands wiki fandom page as well. The forums there or the discussion page has a lot of very nice and useful people uh, who are able to help you if you also want to use that. So yeah, don't forget to check that out. It's going to be in the description as well. Anyways, <coughs> now the big reason why I'm doing this video is because I know a lot of newer players or uh, players who don't have Discord or Facebook, they usually get scammed very often because they're not aware of values they're not aware of scam tactics and um yeah we're pretty much those two so i'm trying to share these like groups and servers maybe in the hopes that you'll be able to educate yourselves a bit better about the community about the gameplay about the the, the trading system and scammers so the more you know the, the more safer you'll be <laughs> And I wanted to make these Christmas um, gift packages for you newbies, uh, for newer players, because I feel like due to the constant or yeah, the constant inflation that happens within the economy because of us veteran players, <laughs> um, I find it's most likely impossible. Like it's hard next to impossible for um, newer players to be able to trade or get items they want or afford anything honestly like when i first started things were cheaper things were affordable i could grind the amount of tokens i needed to get them but i do realize that it's not like that anymore now i was gone for maybe half a year because i lost interest in the game my interest diminished ever since the the island expansion update but my interest has slowly started picking back up now so i'm slowly making a comeback to the game more actively and i find that things have quadrupled in value the inflation has gone so bad that even myself as a veteran and is kind of unable to buy the things that i want accessories are so expensive the events i'm looking for are <laughs> going for iuh's <clears throat> You know my pasture? My painted pinto pasture? I was collecting V1 painted pintos from the previous 22, I think, Easter event. When I first started, those things were going for 400, 250 to 400 moonstones. Now, people don't really use moonstones anymore, they use tokens. So, I've seen those things go for 1 to 2 million, maybe sometimes even IUHs, and that got me really worried about what else is being sold for insane prices so yeah i'm hoping that my christmas christmas gift package is helpful and useful to newbies and that um the the fully trained max dot horses including the prismatic tier uh tech that i will be giving alongside these horses will be helpful for their um grinding for christmas or the winter event and for any other events to come so without further ado let's go to steven we're gonna go to mainland i will be making the packages first like i'll be prepping all the horses for today's video um i'll be giving them up on a live stream later in the week so if you are a new player somebody who is lower than level 500 i will and you want to, uh, you want to, is that word? You want to receive one of these Christmas uh, gift packages. Um, feel free to join me during my live stream. <coughs> <coughs> okay, let's see. It's gonna be hard to figure this out. I'm just gonna type Vaughn for now. I can copy paste. I'll speed this up for you guys. It's gonna take a while. Thank you. 
other day I was giving out like a bunch of reindeers to people because I caught a lot of reindeers um, last year <clears throat> and I wanted some more space back in my inventory so I decided to give away a bunch of reindeers I would just jump um, public servers either trading or mainland usually mainland because that's where a lot of the newbies are at I would give them to newbies and be like hey does anybody want a reindeer it's really cute seeing uh, seeing people like because you're new to the game right you've never seen the reindeers in the game so it's really cute seeing them being really excited about reindeers it's really useful for me too because it completely cleared out my inventory and then there was one nice player that tried to give me something else in return so I decided to give them a white reindeer <laughs> I like to um, return kindness of kindness so if people are being sweet I will give them more. Can't expect to always accept free things or give away free things, right? I like to believe in karma. Who knows? Maybe from from trying to do this for other people, I'll <clears throat> I'll get better RNG during my Christmas grind for Wild War Silence. Though I'm not expecting it. <laughs> it would just be a fun thing to believe in because karma karma exists. I think. I think. Which is why you shouldn't always live your life expecting things to just come for no reason. I believe it's important to work for things as well. And it's important to help where you can. But obviously, don't, don't strain yourself to, to helping to the point where you're struggling. Like, the most important thing is to put yourself first. And if you're able to, help others as well. Oh yeah. Also wanted to mention, in case um, you guys haven't seen or heard yet, um, <clears throat> Rick has made a formal announcement in his uh, official server regarding multiple accounts usage so you're allowed to afk fish and things like that but you are not allowed to <laughs> do it on multiple accounts at once because that is now a bannable offense well i don't know if it is now a bannable offense but he wrote it as if it has always existed because he wrote it like as a reminder <laughs> so i'm like what reminder so this is not actually allowed huh because as far as I know, I mean, you're just... Does it really count as botting if you're just sitting there trying to keep a server active, for example? Maybe not like mass fish for no absolute reason, but maybe he made that reminder because Christmas is coming back soon. And it's well known for a lot of people to AFK fish, uh, frozen fish. So maybe, maybe he put that reminder there before the event started. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, um, do be more careful during the Christmas event. Try not to multiple account AFK fish. Don't risk getting banned. Um, there's also the token dupe happening recently. So avoid selling things because the item you're selling may be gone because the person took it. You know, the duper took it. But And then the tokens that you got from selling the item is going to be gone too. So... I believe you're going to be losing both items and the tokens if you end up coming into dupe tokens. I'm unsure if it gets you banned. I think not because it's not your fault that you got dupe tokens from somebody. <clears throat> but just to be on the safer side, be more careful when you sell things at your market. And try not to accept fishy bids if you know the, those bids don't make sense. Just stay safe, you guys. There's a ban way of happening, and try not to get yourself caught up in it. Even if it's temporary, it's still scary. I didn't mean to rhyme there, but <laughs> you know what I mean.
much done. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and grab my second account. Because what I want to do is I want to send all of these to my other account to make it easier for myself to make the tack and separate from my own inventory because I have a lot of things in my inventory. And so that later when I want to give them out to people during the live stream, <clears throat> it'll be easier as well. Okay, so I finally have my alt here. Um, I mainly use this alt to like, I guess, um, IUH hunt as well. It's like a it looks like a secondary IUH hunt. Uh so But I do need to clean up this alt first, I believe. Okay, so I've more or less cleared out the inventory. I forgot to click two more horses that were still in there. But this is gonna be good. It's a fairly empty uh account. But first things first, I'm gonna go get some resources from my main. More resources from my main. decided for the horses whenever i come across a player i will be spinning a wheel that decides what breed they get so all these breeds that i have available for these gifts will be on the wheel and the wheel will be deciding what what <coughs> what breed of horse they get so that i'm not showing any bias towards any certain player or I'm not being pressured into giving them certain things because I'm really bad when it comes to pressure, honestly so this way it's kind of supposed to be helpful for me make me feel less pressured on what to give a certain player so I don't feel like I'm being biased or, fav or showing any signs of favoritism and <coughs> it's also to keep me safe from uh, feeling pressured in case somebody goes but I want that! I want this breed! <laughs> Okay, um, snowman hats. Let's give snowman hats first. I'm gonna give ones that I know I'll never use. Okay, I'm gonna give 10 beanies as well. <laughs> I think I'm done choosing all the snowman hats I wanna give away, so let's choose some beanies. Hum, 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 hum. I'm gonna choose the beanies at random because I really don't care about the beanies. Alright, <laughs> next up resources. How much rope do I have? 161, I think that's good enough. <laughs> How much leather do I have? That's the most important, important question because I rarely buy leather. Fabrics. Are they called fabrics now? I don't know. I'm just going to give myself all of it. Because <laughs> I can buy more on my main, but I'm not sure if my alt can do the same. Did they change fabrics to... Oh no, never mind. Leather. Okay, Um. what else? What else? I should probably give myself some more fish and flowers, but I'm too lazy to unlock my fish and flowers. Let me see how much... <clears throat> okay, I don't have enough flowers in my inventory. I do have a bunch of fish already from the AFK fishing. I will give myself some flowers. We're gonna do a lot of um, green and red, so... Let's give myself 100 red flowers. And... 100 green flowers if it's not if it's, sorry <clears throat> if it's not enough i'll always give myself some more 
and then I wanted to give what was that? Oh yes, polar bear. Hey, I said accessories, not resources. <clears throat> Look at the amount of polar bears I have. Yeah, this is perfect. I can give a bunch of polar bears. back to my alt okay <clears throat> i don't know why i have four volcanic minerals here but let's see um we should have enough to make some nice christmasy stuff so first things first is we're gonna make a fancy dressage <coughs> riddle bridle however you say it of course, I'm making this one green, and the saddle red, and the saddle pad green. So... Okay, so that should be 27 bridles, brittles, <laughs> however you say them. And now we're gonna make the saddle. I forgot which saddle is the best one, so we're gonna have to check each one first. This one gives you 40% speed and 4% stamina. Thirty percent stamina and thirteen percent speed. This one focuses more on stamina. We're gonna ignore jumping and racing. Trick does a more balanced stamina and speed, so I might do trick actually. Trail saddle adds jump, which is not needed. Let me check. Stamina, speed. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do trick saddle because <clears throat> it's gonna be easier to balance out your speed and your stamina, especially since you're early on. <laughs> Once you're in your later phases or late game, you'll be able to adjust and choose whatever you'd like. My hand hurts. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Okay, so I think we should have enough now. <clears throat> we have the saddle, we have the bridle. Bridle? <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. Spare me. <clears throat> we have the accessories. I'm not sure if I want to do the saddle pad as well. I'm kind of getting a bit lazy here. Help me. I think I'll do... 10 western saddle pad, 10 english saddle pad I'm not too sure what to do with polo wraps though because I think it's better if they try and get the, the christmas looking one themselves um, So we have the saddle pads We have the <coughs> Uh, saddles and the bridles 
pedal pads. We have the hats, and then we have the back accessory. And then we have the horses. And everything else is for them to figure out. Okay, so we're pretty much ready. <laughs> there really is every kind of avatar in Roblox, huh? Okay, so... done all done for the prep you guys would like to participate in the christmas or winter event gift package giveaway um uh, make sure to make sure to what, what, what am i saying again <laughs> make sure to tune into the live stream and catch me when i'm live giving away the stuff i will most likely be on mainland or trading island or reading island basically the public servers where i know there's gonna be a lot of people and um do keep in mind that this is only available or open to players below level 500 because once you're level 500 i believe you can already go to volcano and you can already make your own prismatic tax sets <clears throat> so you're no longer like reliance or dependence on uh the the giveaway package <laughs> but yeah yeah i will see you guys soon i will definitely go be going live before the winter event rolls out so this has been your girl new prepping her christmas gift packages signing out see you guys Bye bye